Hello and welcome to Murphy's Garden and you join me today from inside the potting shed. So before I come on to what we're doing in here, um, I just want to reflect on the video that we did in conjunction with Rosie Hardy. Um, I'm sure most of you have watched it. She has given me such fabulous advice uh, about what to do with my big perennial borders and I'm really looking forward to implementing the advice that she's given me. Um, I think a lot of those changes that she said were things that probably I knew in my heart that I needed to do, but just having her tell me what to do has just really, really helped me. So thank you very much, Rosie. So we will be coming on to doing all those things that she's recommended. But before we can get on to anything else, this is a job that has to be finished. It has to be um, pushed over the line because it's, it's, um, it's holding up everything else. So was a job that we didn't really intend to do a makeover on our shed. But when we went out just shortly after New Year, we discovered that the roof had leaked and everything inside was wet and in danger of ruining all our equipment. So we, um, Alistair prioritised getting the shed fixed. And then when we took everything out of the shed, we sort of thought, well, this actually could be a lot nicer than it is. We're just using it as a kind of utilitarian space, but it could be much nicer kind of aesthetically and a nicer place to to be and we do it sounds a bit crazy having a shed that you want it to look lovely but um, we do quite often have our lunch in here because um, when we're busy doing projects in the garden and you're all kind of a bit muddy and you don't really want to go into the house we quite often have soup and sandwiches in the shed and so why not make it a, a lovely place to be some people go to restaurants we go to the shed so um, may as well make it as nice as it can be so We've insulated the walls because um, just to make it feel warmer and nicer. And then he's put, Alice has put this boarding up. Um, I didn't really know, I didn't really get how he's going to do it, but he's done it beautifully and he's done it in this kind of shaker style. Um, so it's got, um, you know, it just looks really, really lovely. Um, and so my job is to get on and paint. And you can see that I have made a start and we've got lots of this um, Cuprinol paint. Um, this one's called um, Forest Mushroom. Um, we've got various ones that we've had from other projects. This one's Willow, no, sorry, Wild Thyme. Um, and then we've got the Jasmine, which we've used on other projects and things. So we've got lots of leftover colours and they're all these lovely um, kind of earthy tones, which will look lovely in here. So I'm going to use this project. This, this project's all about kind of um, utilising things that we've already got. Often I've got like a, lots of little picture frames and knickknacks and stuff in the house that haven't ever found a home. And it'd be quite nice to, to just um, make this, this shed look um, a bit more homely and a bit more kind of cute and stuff. So um, that's, that's the plan for today. Um, it's a good shed. It's 16 foot this way by eight foot, I think Alistair said this way. So it's quite a nice size. Um, and so let's see what we can do. I've got today and tomorrow um, and I need to get it done because the contents of everything that was in here is currently in my greenhouse. And obviously I need to get on with planting in the greenhouse. It's, I can't get in there at the moment. So this is why this is my priority. So I'm gonna get my paint gear on and get to work. So before I carry on with the painting, we carry on with all the finishing touches. Just gonna recap on what we've done so far. So we began by insulating the entire shed using this um, thermal insulation boarding. Um, really easy to use. This was a job that I could do because it wasn't too difficult, but um, we just slotted these into place. We didn't need to secure them with anything. They just fitted in quite snugly. Al then followed that up by um, covering the floor with this membrane. This is a, stops any moisture transfer um, from beneath the ground coming up through the shed. So we want to keep this area really dry and um, warm. So he just secured that using his air gun. So that was quickly done. And next over the membrane, he put the boarding. This is marine ply that he's using, um, which doesn't mind moisture on it. So this is just the last plank that's just been slotted into place. He's now covering the sides of the wall with the same membrane that we used on the floor. This is belt and braces stuff. We really want this shed to be lovely and warm and um, not get any moisture in it. So he's just again securing it with his air gun. This is a brilliant piece of kit. It really saves a lot of time. And next he uses sheets of MDF to cover the walls. And um, he's, it was horrible weather. It was really cold and miserable. And poor Alice has spent his 
birthday um, in the shed, but Livia visited from university and um, made him a cake just to cheer him up a little bit. And this is the shelving that we've had in the shed for years and it's bright blue, which isn't really in keeping with my colour scheme. So find some metal paint, that Hammerite metal paint that was left over. So I just thought I'll use that up and um, make it look a bit nicer. And I don't think Murphy's really enjoying being outside in the shed, but I have got plans for Murphy as well for this shed. So it doesn't look like I've done that much, but the worst bit has been painting the ceiling, which I haven't enjoyed. It's been horrible, my neck's killing me. Um, Alistair's now onto shelving, so he's gonna do lots of shelving, which I really wanted, So, but he doesn't just do shelving. He's writing the edges to make everything beveled and look absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see, he is a bit of a perfectionist. And then when he flips it over, you can see the lovely edge that it creates. Isn't that a thing of beauty? And the shelving is just going into that corner. So we're getting there. Um, a lot of the colour has gone now onto the walls and I think it's really starting to come together a little bit more now. These are lovely earthy tones. Um, it's still got to have more coats. But the weather continues outside to be horrible. It's cold and it's damp, so it's a really good little job to get done because there's not a lot you can do in the garden when it's horrible outside. So lots and lots of painting, more layers, lots of um, just cutting in around the windows and things. Um, we have got these bars across the window. This is just for security, which we will leave these in place. And Murphy is out here with us. He is getting old. He's getting quite old now. And he likes to be with us, but he doesn't like to be out in the cold. So we will make a provision for Murphy when we come to the finishing touches on this shed. But for now, he just wants a little bit of a cuddle. This is one of the shelves that Alistair put the nice edge on. So he's using this. This is a scribing tool. And this will just make sure that the, it fits exactly into against this window. And also for the window, um, just thought it'd be nice to do a little kind of pelmet. This is some material, it's Morris & Co material. I'll leave a link in the description of the name of it. And um, I've only got a little bit, so I thought I'd just join it all together and form a long um, strip. I'm gonna just put some hem, a hermit, and um, just a slightly bigger hem on one side, just so I can pass the um, rod up the middle of it, some curtain rod and then we'll gather it. It'll be quite tightly gathered, so I don't think you'll notice that it doesn't match up, the pattern doesn't match up, but it will be gathered, so I don't think you'll see that. I was just now attaching some wooden batons. These are batons that were originally on the wall, and we um, put all our garden tools on them, so we'll put those back. Um, he continues to go around just sanding, anything little, little rough spots he keeps sanding. And if I leave him for very long, he keeps filling in holes everywhere at the time I fin think I finished painting. He does lots of filling, but you, I think you'll agree that he's done it absolutely beautifully. Um, all around the window, it's um, really, really, he's very detailed. He's very, very good. So my job is just to go along and um, paint everything and try and get it looking really solid. And some extra detail. We thought we've got a little bit of wallpaper left over from the kitchen. This is a lovely wallpaper. It's called Chestnut Tree by Sanderson. And um, I thought it would just be quite nice just to add a little bit of wallpaper up here. The shed is nice and dry, so it should stay okay. And he's just filled in the holes, the drill holes, um, on the wooden board. So that's been filled and it's dried and it's been sanded. So it's just for me to repaint it all again. So it's the end of the weekend, we've made good progress, but there is still more to do and th this door needs to be tackled. That's the big outstanding project still to be done, but we'll leave it there for now. Hello, it's now the following weekend. So back in the shed, another weekend back in the shed, trying to get this job over the line. It has taken us an awful lot longer than we had anticipated, but hopefully it will be worth it because we're trying to get it to quite a high standard. So you can see we've still got more work to do. Um, yesterday, which was Saturday, Alistair spent the day doing sorting the door right. Um, he, because that was the only part of the shed you saw, the rest of the shed's been insulated. That was the only bit that, that, was, um, that didn't have the insulation up. So we've put insulation boarding on it. And then he wanted to obviously cover the, the, the um, insulation board as well. So he's done that. He's filled it all. It, that all needs sanded and that all need repainting. 
and then my job as well today is to do the flooring so we've got these um this is this matting it comes like a big jigsaw really um and what, what i'll do is put that down this is at the moment it's just got the marine ply on the floor but this will just um create that sort of feeling of a um, bit of warmth really it just insulates everything and it also makes sign proof so as well so it's less echoey in here which would be good for filming and just makes it feel generally warmer and nicer we've used this in the garage and it's brilliant because if you come in with muddy boots it just wipes off um, you can mop it if you need to so it's really good for that so it's like a big jigsaw so i'll be um fitting fitting it on the floor so that's got to be done and then everything will need to be cleaned um, any last minute painting done and then we can finally do the fun part which is putting all everything back up again and putting all the little knickknacks in so really really looking forward to doing that get my curtain up as well I think probably the inspiration for this shed has come from when we went to Chelsea do you remember the video we did in Chelsea 2023 um, we saw all those beautiful little outbuildings and tree houses and posh sheds and things like that. So I think probably in the back of my mind, that's where the idea has come from to make this shed a, a nicer place to be. So hopefully we can achieve that. And um, I think I'm going to get lots of views from it. So hopefully all the hard work will be worth it. So the problem we had with the door, it's obviously got to be able to lock. It's also got to be able to um, access the handle, um, but we did want it to be insulated as well. So Alistair's got round it by, um, he's put the insulation board in and then he's surrounded it with the um, lightweight um, wooden boards. So he's done a lovely job. Um, then he's filled it, filled it last night. And so um, that will just need sanded this morning and repainted and then that white paint at the top that was actually oil based so um, I think Al said he'll sand that down for me so I can just paint it all the same so I don't really want that to stand out whether it blend in so that's that's what it's looking like looking good and now I'm just going to lay the floor so this is quite a nice little job I quite enjoyed doing this um, these boards go down quite easily um, I have just cut them really well into shape because I don't want any gaps around the edges where dust and things will gather. I want it to be a really nice snug fit. And time for a little tea break um, before getting back to work again. And I think the end is in sight and the fun bit is in sight. Um, last little job to do. Alistair, we, has, we haven't got any means of opening the windows. We can obviously open the door, but then you get all the flies in. So this was just an idea of just putting these little vents on and they can just be flipped open and closed depending on the weather. So if it gets too hot in here, we can just allow a little bit of air circulation. And Alice and I put my little valance up on the window and we've started to put some little knickknacks and stuff on the wall. And this is just the boarding going on with these um, little grips to hold the tools. It seems a shame to put the tools back in the shed, but it is a shed after all. So we do need all our spades and forks and everything. So these are quite good at just holding them into place. And sadly, it's Sunday night and the weekend draws to, to an end. And I just want to stay out here and finish it all off. But we do have to go in and we've got a week of work before we can get back out again and really finish it off. I can't wait for next weekend when I can show you it all tidy and all finished. So see you next weekend. Hello and you join me in the finished shed. I'm so, so thrilled with it. I'm absolutely overjoyed with it. I'm going to get lots of use from it. So we got, it, we got it sort of finished last weekend, but all the details gone in this weekend. Olivia's home from university for the fun part, so she's helped me just do all the finishing touches. Um, we've, put, we've got masses of storage, it's just brilliant. Everything's gone back in, but everything's tidy and we've got lots of um, storage containers to put things in. We've got room for all our little crafty things. We've put um, string up on the beam so we can attach dried flowers and um, all the cards and things that we make, we can put up there and display them and just somewhere to store them. Um, it's just brilliant. I can't tell you how pleased I am with it. So I will take you for a little tour just to have a look at it in detail. So the window has got lots of shelving for all our um, plants and things like that. We've got scissors, we've got 
um, kitchen roll, paper, or little knickknacks and things. Lots of um, workspace on these two tables. We've got we've got two tables on here, and we've just put oil cloth on the top. And um, we've got some plants and things, just rooting. These are some of Olivia's house plants. Um, some basil and um, just putting them in water to get some new roots growing on them. Um, we've got some little succulents on the window. We've put little fairy lights. And then across here, we've just got some little postcards that we had. And um, we've got some shelving here. It's a little Staffordshire figure that I had. Thought that would look quite cute on there. Put a little bit more wallpaper on that back wall there. And um, we've got a cow and some dried flowers and we've got had this little wooden cabinet so I've just put some uh, pressed flowers on there then the the um, door is all completed now um, Liv put some of the dried flowers in the little heart that we had that was a heart that we had it outside it was kind of falling to bits but we've managed to give it a new lease of life and secured it back together again Alistair's put some extra architraving around the door I think I need to give that another coat actually um, this is a wreath that I've just made for the front door. Um, so just hang it on there for now, but I will put it on the front door. We've got a little shelf on here, which we've got a plant on and um, lots of storage in here. These are little storage drawers. I've got glue, I've got um, tape and Velcro and all sorts of things for all our crafty things. Lace and ribbon and string and all sorts of things. We even got a little mouse, two little mice. Then all the tools are on the wall. So we have to be really good at not bringing in any mud, cleaning them all. And then on here, we've just put some string and these are all the cards that we make. So um, these are sort of the original ones. We've made lots and we sell some of the cards that we make. And these are just dried flowers that are left over from last summer. So I've moved them in here so that they're handy for when we make more cards. Got little um, fairy lights on here. And we just put some bunting up as well. And thought this was quite an apt little card that um, is quite relevant because it's me and Alistair, me making him move things around. And then we've got um, some dried hydrangea heads there some little succulents on there. Lots of storage on these shelves. We've got the um, lots of wreaths on the top there. We've even got a, a light for doing videos. And um, yeah, it's all looking, all looking good. And then the greenhouse is fairly empty now so I can get in there and do my, um, do my seed sowing. I have done quite a lot of seed sowing now, but I'll do a bit more. So we've got lots of storage under here. We've got drawers, we've got bins, one for rubbish, one for green waste. Um, we've got a flower press. Um, got these two little bins. I thought that'd be useful for, um, you know, um, bone meal and things like that. And then the final little touch, we've got these sweet little mats. And then also, um, I've made this little bed for Murphy, although he doesn't seem to like it very much. He's gone into his own bed inside, but I think he'll get used to it over time. But that was just some leftover material that I had. So it's quite nice to utilize that. And he's got his little YouTube pillow as well. And look, it's raining outside. So it's lovely to have somewhere to go and be lovely and warm. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching us complete this project. It has taken a long time, but I know I'm going to get lots and lots of views from this area. Absolutely pleased as punch with it. Absolutely love it. Um, we've got lots more jobs to do. If you like what we do and you want to join us, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, we've got many more things to do. But for now, it's pouring it down outside and I'm snug as a bug in my little shed. I've got things I can get on with here. So hope you will join us for videos to come and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.